by the way, the last time I saw you, um, it was in the middle of that craziness that the ILH playoffs are. Yes, yes. Uh, it was a Wednesday, so over a week ago. Yeah, about a week ago. Yeah. And you guys had just lost to Kumemeo. Mm -hmm. And you were standing out there in the dark with your with your assistant coaches <laughs> contemplating things. Um, how do you feel now compared to that? Um, you know, much better, I would say. Obviously, we're playing a little bit better, a little more consistent. Um, you know, I think a lot of it is is trying to gather our, our group again, you know, and kind of refocus and and get that drive back a little bit. I think we felt a little comfortable knowing the full situation maybe. And, you know, and then finally, I guess on Saturday, I kind of realized that, hey, this is the ILA Championship. It's the last game. Um, we played much better. Kamehameha played much better. Um, I know they're tired after a couple matches, but, um, you know, it was good to see the change in our kids, you know, from night to night, for sure. I, I, I've, looked, I've seen them, and I, I think of Kamehameha as like, there's no team as athletic as them, yes. CY, but there's also, for you guys, there's no team that's made as much progress since last year to now. Mm -hmm. Good team last year, now very good. Borderline great yeah, sometimes. Uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. at times. You know, if we put it all together, that's the scary thing. I think we've been doing well in matches and all that stuff, and you know, we haven't really put together a full, full match. I mean, we've had a set or two against Kunal Kamehameha that looked really good and, and put us in a good spot, but, you know, we, we can still play, you know, better. You know, I think that's always driving our kids, and I think that's the excitement about what we're doing, and just kind of see what we can do, you know, each night. What, you know? what did you guys really improve at within the past week? You think? You know, in the, in the past week, uh, you know, I think a little bit more of, of you know, our, our offense predicated on trust and a lot of tempo and. You know, so a lot of timing involved and kind of got back in the gym and worked a lot of timing, uh, just trusting hitters to setters. Because, you know, there's a little bit of a timing issue, I think, those other two matches throughout the week, last week. And I think we've not quite figured out fully, but are getting closer to that point. And then, um, you know, happy where we're at, for sure. Um, back row. I don't know what her name is, number two. She seemed to be a magnet. Yeah, Naya, Naya Dong. She's a freshman. Yeah, wow. freshman. Um, Solid for us, you know. The serve receive is big, and she also makes you know, a lot of good reads and, and can make the make a play on the ball. You know, it's just as a freshman, there's some growth that has to happen. But you know, we're happy with how she's playing. Yeah, definitely. And you're getting leadership from from Bailey Choi. Yeah, Bailey, uh, Sierra, um, Emily. I have eight, nine seniors total with the manager. So um, everyone kind of contributes. You know, in their different ways. You know, Morgan's kind of our emotional. Uh, a leader, you know, she gets the, the group going and everything and, and, and Bailey and Sierra kind of compete and get us very competitive. This is a tough situation for you, even though people look at you and say, oh, you're the number one team. Yeah. You have enough depth now where some of the kids who normally would not only start, but probably be all league and other leagues, mm -hmm. they might not get a lot of playing time with this team. They get some. Yes, yeah, yeah. Managing that is not easy. It's not easy. Um, Definitely, and it's, it's kind of cool, I think. It helps our practice gym get a lot better. I think we stress that um, every day, you know, how they help us, and how our whole entire 15 helps us get better and, and getting us to this point. Um, but yeah, I like to have the options. They gave me an opportunity in set three tonight to to get um, you know a couple of our kids in and, and to still be productive, so it's nice. What happens from here? You guys have Kahuku, I think. Kahuku next, yeah. They're tough, they're tough, and uh, It'll be a fun one. You know, I think it should be back and forth a little bit, and I think um, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And it's an earlier, it's a 5 p.m. Yes. match. You know, they may get excused a little early, if, if anything. We finish at 3 o'clock every day, typically. Yeah. Um, so maybe the, maybe the last half hour yeah. to kind of get yeah. them you know, a little bit more prepared and stuff. And then we head over about an hour before our match. How do you feel? You're in the semifinals of the Division One State Championships. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool for our program, good for the kids, good for our school. And I think it's something for us um, all to kind of soak in a little bit as we're going through it. Uh, I think we tend to forget that maybe sometimes as, as coaches. So I want our kids to really feel what they're going through. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks. it.